have a crate in class and crates are really important, especially if you wanna do any kind of activities. If your dog ever gets injured or has to go to the vet or has to be boarded, they're going to be in a crate. So you want the crate to be a really positive thing. So one thing we can start with puppies are crate games, which are just making going into the crate and being in the crate a really positive, rewarding experience because the last thing that we want to do is for the puppy to associate the crate with being scared and nervous. Um, Oakley had a really hard time with crates when he was a puppy. It was honestly our hardest, worst part about him being a puppy was he just did not want to be left alone. So we did a lot of crate games, I mean for hours a day to make this a more positive place for him. Oakley. And I'm just going to toss the cookie in. He doesn't have to get all the way in. And then just, yay, good boy. And I'll toss one away so that he comes out. Oh, please. And I'm going to toss the cookie in. And at this point, we're just tossing a cookie into the crate, letting him come out when he wants to come out. He's used to being um, in there now, so he's not just running right back out. But if they run right back out, that's okay. Oh, please get it. Now, ideally, like this is really good. I'm proud he's doing this on camera. Eventually, we wanna teach the dog that they don't come out of the crate until they're released with that release word or they're invited out of the crate that they're not supposed to just barrel out. So I'm really proud he's doing this because I, I did not expect this. We haven't practiced this in a really long time. Free! So I'm gonna release him out and then just toss the cookie back in. And then eventually, when you get the dog comfortable with this part, you're gonna just start Close the door for a few seconds, open the door back up, free! So we're not causing them to panic by just shutting the door and leaving them in there. And again, even if your puppy has been in the crate, this is a good thing to practice that every time I put you in a crate doesn't mean you're gonna be in there for hours. So I'll shut the door, open the door back up, free! Give them a cookie outside, toss a cookie back in, and then we'll graduate to I'm going to actually close the door and then I'm going to open it back up free. And you can just do this until the dog seems to willingly want to go in a crate. Once they're willing going, willingly going in the crate, we can add a cue. Here, Oakley, free. Oakley, crate. We can add a cue and then reward once they jump in there. So remember, we talked about not adding a cue word until they've got the behavior fluently and they're willingly going in and out free. Good boy. Okay, let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you all soon.